Welcome to the joy of embroidery the Bernina way. With the new Bernina Artista computer sewing and embroidery system, you can select the stitches and features you use most to design and create just what you want. Bernina's exclusive built-in stitch processor resizes embroidery designs perfectly. With Bernina's on-screen editing and embroidery designs, you can combine alphabets with any embroidery design. And you can embroider designer motifs like Mary Engelbright, Debbie Mum, Precious Moments, and Beatrix Potter. Your embroidery module comes with everything you need to get started. A large hoop and temp a small hoop and template, an embroidery card with alphabets, and the number 9 presser foot and the nets. Also included is this Bernina exclusive, an adapter for free arm embroidery. Use this mini hoop with the free arm embroidery option to embroider small areas like a cuff or sleeve without opening the seam. The module is light and easy to install. Here's how to do it. Turn off your machine and remove the excess or sewing table. Now, place the embroidery module here behind the free arm. Slide it onto the base plate and set it in place. Here's a handy drawer to store small accessories. This slot is for the Artista design and memory cards. Simply slide the card in here. To remove, press the eject button and the card pops out. Take the cable from the back and insert the special locking plug into this dedicated port on your machine. The flat side goes to the back on version 1 machines and to the front on version 2 machines. Clip on a hoop and you're ready to go. If you want to remove the module, turn your machine off, grab here and lift and slide off. Always remove the embroidery module before you move your sewing machine. It's just as you use the mini hoop with the free arm embroidery adapter. Slide the adapter on behind the free arm. Line up the module closely to this L-shaped guide and set in place on the adapter. This is the mini hoop. It can be used with the free arm. This is the only hoop that will work with the free arm adapter. To prepare for embroidery, first attach the number 9 embroidery foot and start each design with a new needle. You can use a variety of needle types like Microtex, Metafill, or embroidery. An embroidery needle is designed with a deeper groove and large eye to accommodate embroidery thread. You'll learn more about matching the right size and type of needle for the type of fabric and design you're using in your owner's classes. Usually, a number 80 needle will work for light to medium weight fabrics, and a number 90 needle will work for heavy, firm fabrics. Lower the feed dogs. The machine will prompt you to do so. For normal sewing, the feed dogs grab the fabric to keep it moving. For embroidery, the arm moves the fabric in the hoop under the needle to create the design, so the feed dogs aren't necessary. It's important to use the hoop size closest to the line you've chosen. If the hoop is too large for the design, the fabric may become loose during embroidery and distort the design. Or, if the hoop is too small, the machine will prompt you to use a larger hoop. Two optional accessories you'll find helpful are the medium size hoop, which accommodates men's, and the straight stitch plate. The straight stitch plate has a smaller needle hole which prevents needle deflection or movement to create perfect stitch formation. For perfectly sewn designs, always use a stabilizer. Stabilizers give stability to fabric and help ensure quality stitching. There are many types of stabilizers available. Here are some of the types of stabilizer options. Cutaway stabilizer, woven and knit iron-on, water-soluble like aquafilm, spray-on sizing, and regular laundry spray starch. The most commonly used stabilizer for machine embroidery is cutaway stabilizer. It's specially designed to cut away later. And you can use more than one layer if needed. Use this stabilizer for a variety of fabrics like cotton, lightweight denim, terry, arctic fleece, and velour. Iron-on stabilizer is also used for some projects. This stabilizer is ironed on to the wrong side of the fabric. Iron-on stabilizer comes in a variety of weights. Select the weight according to the fabric you're using. Iron-on is recommended for fabrics that tend to stretch like knits and trico. Some iron-on stabilizers can be removed after embroidery. Check the manufacturer's recommendations. Another stable on the market is Aquafilm. It's water soluble. It looks like plastic film and easily in cold water. This is ideal for fine transparent fabrics like organdy or batiste and on projects where you don't want the weight of other stabilizers. You may want to select another stabilizer if the design you choose is large and dense. Here's how to work with Aquafilm. 
Cut two pieces of stabilizer larger than the size of your hoop with 505 adhesive. Be careful when choosing a spray adhesive. Some sprays are too thick and gum up your needle, so it's important to use a spray adhesive recommended by Bernina, like 505. You can use 505 to position your design on garments that can't be hooped. Check with your local dealer for recommendations. Place the stabilizer on both sides of the fabric. Place all three into the embroidery hoop and stitch. Dissolve the stabilizer in water when the embroidery is complete. You can also easily cut away the excess. Another use for aquafilizer is for embroidering fabrics with a pile, like velvet, boucle knits, and the looped pile toweling. Because the hoop may stretch or mark the fabric, velvets and fancy knits shouldn't be hooped. To embroider on fabrics like velvet, you can use cutaway stabilizer and place it in the hoop. Spray it with 505 adhesive. Velvet pile right side up and smooth in place. Place the aquafilm on the right side of the fabric. Hold in place and sew your design. After stitching, cut away the water-soluble stabilizer from the right side and cut away the stabilizer from the wrong. You can use 505 to position your design on garments that can't be hooped. Just hoop a piece of cutaway stabilizer and spray. Place your garment on the hoop, check placement and stitch. If you don't want the weight of the cutaway or you don't want the stabilizer, you can use a couple of layers of aquafilm stabilizer in the hoop. Spray with 505, thin the fabric and stitch. When you're done, cut away the excess. Spray starch or sizing can also be used to stabilize the fabric. It's ideal for stiffening fine or loosely woven fabrics like linen or batiste. Simply spray the fabric and let dry or press with a warm iron. Here's a tip. Some starch can flake during the stitching and get into the bobbin area, so be sure to brush out all area clean. And for extra stability, you may need to use additional layers of stabilizer wrong side of the fabric. With Bernina's precision stitching, your new machine can create beautiful designs, and accurate tension settings will ensure that each design is sewn out perfectly. There are a variety of thread types available for machine embroidery. Your machine set up from the factory for 40 weight embroidery thread. If you're working with a lighter thread like 60 weight or a heavier thread like 30 weight, you may need to adjust the upper tension. For the bobbin, use a special thread just for bobbins, like OES spun poly bobbin thread or Swiss Metrazine 60 weight cotton. Check with your local dealer for rotations. If you have a 180, the tension is set automatically when you select a design. But if you need to adjust the tension, just select the TTC button, touch Thread Tension, and adjust higher or lower. For the 170, you need to manually set the tension. For embroidery, the tension should be set between 2 and 4. For specialty threads, adjust the dial higher or lower. Accommodate the thread for embroidery with the 170, always thread the bobbin case finger. This keeps bobbin thread tension tight. When the module is in place, you can turn on the machine. This screen appears. Touch this symbol. The embroidery module is selected. Use these arrows to scroll through the designs. Here's a display of the designs from the embroidery collection. There are four different embroidery collections. Your machine comes with the first collection. You can have your dealer exchange this collection for one of your choice at any time. You can also preview any design on an embroidery card. Symbol. Now you can scroll through the designs available on the embroidery card. If the hoop is not attached to the machine once you select a design, the machine will tell you to do so now. How? First, raise the presser foot and raise the needle to the highest position. Now press in on both sides of the hoop catch. Position the hoop on the embroidery arm. Set the hoop down and release. To remove the hoop, press here to release and pull up. The first time you use your embroidery module, do this quick check. Attach the large or medium hoop with the template to the embroidery module. Open the setup program. Select service and select hoop adjustment. This screen appears. Touch check. The machine the area of the hoop positions the needle in the center and stops. Check to see that the needle is equally centered on the template. If not, use the directional arrows to move the hoop to center the needle exactly. Once it's in the center, touch OK. The embroidery hoop is now adjusted. No further adjustments are needed. 
touch escape. If you don't do this quick check, the position of your embroidery may be inaccurate, especially if you're working on a project where centering the design is important. Once you've designed a design and have determined a hoop size, prepare your fabric and stabilizer. Determine the center of your fabric piece and mark the center with a fabric marker or chalk. See these arrows? These arrows are on the center front of both hoops. These are guides to match the inner and outer hoop. Use the template markings to help you position the design in the hoop. The grid is one centimeter squares and the word Bernina is in the lower right corner, the correct position for the template. The center and sides are marked with holes for transferring markings to the fabric. This helps to align the fabric for accurate placement within the hoop. To open the embroidery hoop, loosen the screw and remove the inner hoop. Working on a hard, flat surface, position the template and inner hoop over the fabric and stabilizer. Now, take the fabric with stabilizer and inner and place it over the outer hoop, matching the arrows. Press the inner hoop down into the... Make sure the fabric lays flat in the hoop and is free of wrinkles or creases. Tighten the screw. Pull the fabric a little from each side to keep the center in place and the fabric grain straight. If the fabric is not secure or the screw is loose, the fabric will move during embroidery and the design will distort. If you're working with a piece of clothing, use the template to determine the design center. For cotton, like this, use a cutaway stabilizer. You will learn about stabilizers and how to use them in your owner's class. Select the design card and select a design. The hourglass appears and blinks. This tells you the computer is working. Don't touch. The machine is retrieving the design. The design builds on the screen in the sewing order. The hourglass disappears when the design is complete. You cannot make any changes or go to another screen until the hourglass disappears and the design is complete. Now the machine will automatically check the hoop size. When a hoop is set in place, the machine uses these tabs to read or code the hoop. The machine moves the hoop within the area of the selected design and registers the contours of the design. If the design is too big for the hoop, this message appears. If this happens, change the hoop size and touch layout. Touch check to activate the hoop recognition feature. Here's what the screen tells you. With the completion of the design, these arrows are now active. This tells you the actual sewing time. This is the presser foot to use, number 9, the embroidery foot. This is for accessing the different layout screens. Menu will take you back to the main selection screen. And this is the total number of colors and the sewing sequence. The sewing sequence symbol is useful to find your place if a thread breaks during sewing. More about that later. Touch layout. Layout 1 is activated. This tells you which hoop to use. You can use any of the darkened sizes. Always select a hoop closest to the size of your design. This is center. This will bring the hoop to the center of the design. This is check. Use this to check the hoop. And here is for retrieving a design. This is temporary save. This is start. This is to delete a design. More about these symbols later. This is the design number, and this is the finished measurement of the design. Touch OK to return to the sewing screen. The darkened area of the design is the selected area to be sewn. If you want to sew your design in a single color, select this symbol. The machine will sew the entire design in one color without stopping for color changes. If you're ready, from this screen. To begin to embroider, check to see that your needle is threaded with the first color, and the bobbin is full. Here's a tip. Have your selections of threads set in order nearby and have a second bobbin filled. To begin, lower the presser foot. Press the quick reverse button for about three seconds. The audio signal stops beeping. The machine sews about six stitches and stops. Raise the presser foot and cut the thread end. Lower the presser foot, press the quick reverse button, and the machine does the rest. Isn't this great? Another way to begin is to lower the presser foot, press the foot control, sew a few stitches and stop. Cut the thread end and continue by pressing the foot control. It may be helpful to use the foot control to control speed when you're working with metallic threads. 
we recommend beginning to embroider with the quick reverse button, but either way is okay. Here's what the screen tells you when you're ready to begin. This tells you which color number is being sewn, and this is darkened to to which sections of the design will be sewn in this color. Other parts of the design remain gray. If you want to view the other color selections before you begin to sew, use these arrows. This arrow scans forward, this scans back. The cursor tells you the starting point of embroidery. It's important to sew the design in the color sequence your machine indicates, because the sequence is configured for this design. If the colors are sewn out of the indicated order, the color blending may be off. Your machine automatically stops once it completes sewing a color and waits for you to change to the next thread color. To change thread, clip here, close to the design. Now clip the thread at the first thread. With the presser foot in the up position, unthread the needle and pull the thread down and out thread path. This prevents thread fuzz from being pulled through the machine. And remember, this always tells you which color number and which part of the design is next. If the presser foot and needle are too close to the hoop, simply press here the hoop relocation symbol. This moves the hoop out of the way so you can easily change threads. Now just press here again to return to the original sewing position and begin. If you're sewing with specialty threads, you may need to reduce the speed of embroidery. Just use the foot control for the entire design. This will allow you to control the sewing speed. If you need to stop your machine during embroidery, press the quick reverse button. The machine will stop automatically. Now just re-thread with the next color. Press your foot, press the quick reverse button, the thread end. Press the quick reverse button again. Continue to embroider this way until your design is complete. When your design is finished, raise the presser foot, release the hoop, and pull the hoop away. Cut the top threads, and snip any connecting threads on the surface. For the bottom threads, cut long connecting threads like this in the middle. If you cut them too close to the fabric, you may cut into the securing knot. And only cut the connecting threads if you think they might get caught and pull. Look, a beautiful design, perfectly sewn. And think of all the things you can do. There may be times when the embroidery is interrupted, like if a thread breaks or you run out of thread before the color is completed. Don't worry, it's easy to resume the design right where the machine stopped. And here's it to make sure the needle will begin exactly where it stopped. Touch this symbol. These arrows allow you to check the embroidery sequence in stages. Just touch the right arrow to move the needle forward and the left arrow for reverse. The needle one stitch at a time up to four stitches. Then it will move in groups of ten stitches and then by fifty stitches at a time. The cursor on the screen tells you the position of the needle exactly. It's okay when you're back to the needle stopping point. Raise the presser foot and re-thread your machine. To continue, press the reverse button and go. Here's a feature you'll love. You don't have to remove the embroidery unit if you want to do regular sewing. The hoop. Go to the sewing screen and the hoop will move out of the way. And you're ready to sew. It's very simple to alter any design. Just follow the few steps. Select a design. The hourglass appears. The machine is retrieving the design. Once the design is complete, you can change the design by enlarging or reducing it, rotating it, moving it within the hoop, and mirror imaging the design. Touch layout. One is activated. This tells you to use presser foot number nine, the embroidery foot. These two hoops are highlighted or darkened, which means they are the only two hoops you can use with this design. This is the design number and this is the size of the completed design. To check the exact placement of your design, touch Check, and the hoop moves and traces the design area. This confirms where the design will sew. If you don't have a hoop attached, the machine will ask you to attach a hoop now. Touch here to decrease the design size. The design appears as a rectangle. The size change here in percentages. This changes the size proportionally. Touch Show. Touch here to return to the original size. Touch here to increase the design size. Here's the new size. Touch Show to see the enlarged design. 
Touch here if you want to go back to the original size. Touch Show. The actual design shows on the screen. The hourglass tells you that the stitch processor is calculating the new size information. You can't make any changes when the hourglass is blinking. The hourglass disappears when the altered design is complete. To check the design area, touch Check, and the hoop will trace the new design area. Once the check is done, the rectangle representing the design reappears. This is for mirror image. You can flip the design horizontally to mirror the original design. Even if you change the size of the design, larger or small, you can use mirror image. This symbol is for rotating the design. You can rotate the design 160 degrees. This mark indicates the lower right-hand corner. This stays in the lower right-hand corner of the design, so you'll always know the original position. Each time you touch this symbol, the design will rotate in 30 degree increments. The design rotates on the screen as you touch the symbol. You can also move the position of the design anywhere in the hoop. Use these arrows to move the design in eight different directions. See? You can see the design move to the new position. Touch Show to view the new position. Touch Check and the hoop will trace the new design area. If you want to return to the original design center, touch Center. At any time, you can select Show to see your changes. If you like your changes, touch OK to turn to the sewing screen. Now the screen goes back to normal with the color sequence. The hourglass blinks while the new design is being calculated. This shows you the percentage of the new design being processed at any time. If you like the design, you are ready to embroider. Spread your machine with the first color and check to see that the bobbin is filled. The embroidery arm moves the hoop to the start position. The original design shows on the screen. You can't see any of your changes on the sewing screen. If you want to alter your design further, touch Layout. Then touch Layout 2. Layout 2 gives you other options to alter your design. In Layout 2, you can alter the width of your design by compressing or adding to the width. Narrow the design, touch here. Touch Show. The adjustment always shows here in percentages. If you want to return to the original size, just touch here. If you want to widen the design, touch here. The design spreads out. In Layout 2, you can also adjust the height of your design to shorten it or to make it taller. Touch here to shorten your design. Touch Show. Touch here to make it taller. Again, the adjustment shows here in percentages. To return to the original design, touch here. You can also manipulate the stitch density and the stitch length of your design. Touch Menu. Insert the alphabet card that came with your machine. Touch here to access the card. This tells you the card is active. Use these arrows to scroll through the card. You can choose from five alphabets and twelve crests. For now, select this alphabet. When the hourglass stops flashing, select the raise the presser foot, attach the medium hoop with fabric and stabilizer. Sew the B as programmed with variegated thread. Now place another piece of fabric in the hoop and select the B again. Touch Layout and touch Layout 2. Increase the stitch density to 146%. Touch OK to confirm. Sew out the second B. When you increase the stitch density, your design has a raised and denser look with thicker, tighter stitches. Again, select the B. Decrease the stitch density. Touch OK to confirm and sew out the third B. See how the stitching is spaced apart? You may need to lower the stitch density when you're using specialty or metallic threads. Stitch length affects the underlay stitches and step stitches in a design. You will learn about stitch density and stitch length in your owner's class. The alphabet card comes with complete alphabets, which include letters, numbers, and punctuation, and 12 crests. Touch an alphabet to select it. Wait for all the letters, numbers, and punctuation to load. The hourglass will stop flashing when they are complete. The alphabet appears with an open memory bar. Select a letter and it appears here in the memory bar. Select another letter. 
Continue to spell the word. If you need to delete the letter, touch Delete. To delete a letter within the word, use these arrow cursor to the right of the letter and touch Delete. You can program utty letters. Touch OK to go to the sewing screen. This message will appear. To fix this, you can either reduce the size of the letters or rotate the Touch Escape. Only part of what I'm shows. Touch Layout. Rotate line 90 degrees. Touch Show. More of the letters show, but not all of them. Reduce the letter size and touch Show. Some letters are still not showing. Reduce the letter size and touch Show again. See, it all fits. Touch the percentage box to show the rectangle again. Now you can enlarge it within the hoop until it stops. Touch Show again. See, the letters are still there, but larger. Touch OK to process. When the machine is done recalculating, a new stitching time will appear. Letters and numbers are always saved in one color. See, the brush symbol is dark. This means it's active and the machine will sew out all the letters in one color and stop. If you want to sew the letters in more than one color, just touch the brush to deactivate the single color embroidery. The brush symbol is deactivated. Now when you begin, the machine will automatically sew one letter and stop. You can now change thread and begin again. The machine will stop after each letter. Change the thread color and make each If you wanted the first letter of a different color, touch the brush to deactivate the single color embroidery for the first letter and sew the first letter. Change the thread color and touch the brush symbol. The remaining letters will be stitched without stopping. If you want to create monograms, you can also choose to have a frame or border for your lettering. With Bernina's on-screen editing, you can do all this on-screen. Touch Menu to return to the card selections. Scroll through the card to preview the frames and select one. Touch Layout 1 and Temporary Save to save your frame selection. The box representing the frame turns gray. Touch Menu to return to the card selections. Select a lettering style and select your initials. The memory bar automatically each time you select a letter. Touch OK to go to the sewing screen. Touch Layout. Here as a rectangle. Use the arrows to position the letters in the frame. You may have to adjust the size of the letters to fit in the border. Just touch here to increase or decrease the size. Decrease the letters. To save two centered designs, use the arrow to move the top design up one notch. The machine will now recognize both designs. Touch Temporary Save and Show. Touch OK to process when you like the position of the letters and border. When the machine is done recalculating, a new stitching time will appear. Now you can embroider the letters. Designs can be combined in the Artista Embroidery module to create completely new designs. With this on-screen editing feature, designs can be combined with lettering to create a variety of personalized projects. With on-screen editing, you can duplicate, rotate, mirror image, and resize your design. And you can create a design and then add lettering. Here's how simple it is to use the on-screen editing. Scroll through and select a design. When the design is processed, the hoop will move and position the starting point. Touch Layout. Press Temporary Save. The rectangle is inactive and turns gray. Touch Menu. To add lettering to a design, insert the alphabet card that came with your machine. Touch here to access the card. Select a lettering style. Spell your word. 
Touch OK to confirm. Your glass tells you the design is being processed. This message will appear. To fix, touch Escape. Now you can either reduce the size of the letters or rotate the pattern. Here's how. Only part of what you've programmed shows. Touch Layout. Both the new design and the lettering appear as rectangles. Because of the screen size, you'll find that the rectangles are the simplest to work with as you position the two designs. Use the arrows to position the letters in the frame. You may have the size of the letters to fit. Touch here to decrease the size. Here you can also resize, rotate, or mirror image the lettering. The size of the rectangle will change as you modify the design. To see your changes, touch Show and the appears. Remember to wait until the hourglass quits blinking to make any changes. Touch Temporary Save. The hourglass will flash. Your design is saved in the temporary memory. Touch OK to process when you like the position of the letters and border. This is a whole new design and can only be altered as a whole design. You cannot separate the combines. It's just as easy to mirror image a design. Here's all you do. Select a design and go to Layout 1. The design shows up as a rectangle. This is for mirror image. You can flip the design horizontally at any position. Even if you change the size of the design larger or smaller, you can use mirror image. Press Temporary Save. The rectangle is inactive and turns gray. Here's a tip. If the boxes are gray and you touch the arrows, you make a duplicate. If the boxes are darkened and you touch the arrows, you it. Now use the arrows to move the rectangle. A duplicate rectangle will move to the position. Touch Mirror Image. Touch Temporary Save. Now two rectangles. Both are inactive. If you want to duplicate the design again, just use the arrows and a new design will move from the last one selected. You can add more. Just remember to use Temporary Save every time you add a new rectangle. Touch OK. Your new combined design will process one design at a time in the order it was programmed. You're ready to embroider once the design is complete. This message will appear after you have completed a design and have sewn it out. Your design is saved in the temporary memory. If you turn off the machine, the design will be lost. It will be embroidered in the program sequence. Each design is sewn color by color. Each design is sewn in full, next, then next. So even if each design has the same colors, one design is sewn completely, then the next. With your Artista, you can also create arched lettering. It's so easy to do. Select the alphabet card and select a lettering style. Select a letter and touch OK. Touch Layout. Now use the arrows to move the letters. Remember, to save two centered designs, use the arrow to move the top design up one notch. The machine will now recognize both designs. Touch Temporary Save. Go back to Menu and continue selecting letters to spell out Smile. After each letter, go to Layout, Move It, and touch Temporary Save. The letters are saved as separate elements. You can move them one at a time. The letters appear as rectangles. Now try this. If you want an arch, rotate the letters using the circle and crosshairs as a guide. Select a letter, move and rotate it. When it's in the correct position, press Temporary Save. Touch Temporary Save every time you move a letter before you go to the next letter. Remember to touch Temporary Save to save the whole design before you go to the sewing screen or your new design will be lost. Let's say you'd like to save this design and sew it later. It's very simple to do. You can store the design on a Bernina memory card. These blank memory cards are available at your Bernina dealer. A blank card can usually store about 15 designs. To save your design, touch Memory. The memory screen comes up. This screen appears. The machine will ask for a Bernina blank card Remove the alphabet card and insert a personal design card. Touch Store. The hourglass flashes. This shows the percentage of the design that's being processed. When it's finished loading the design, this shows how much memory is used. 
This bar shows the available memory space. The design is saved on the card in the next available space. When the saving process is complete, touch OK to return to the sewing screen. If you want to delete a design from a memory card, touch the memory to show the design. Touch Delete and touch OK. With your new Artista, you have the ability to embroider many different size designs from small to large. And you have the ability to do free arm embroidery, a Bernina exclusive. This means you can embroider sleeves and cuffs without having to open a seam. Here's how to set up your machine for free arm embroidery. Set the adapter in place here. Position the module on the adapter and set it in place. Plug in the module and turn on the machine. Select a design. This message appears. Touch Layout and then touch Check to move the embroidery arm into place. Once the adapter recognition is complete, touch OK to return to the sewing screen. If you have reduced the size of the design to fit, when the stitch processing is complete, the arm will move to the correct position. Attach the hoop and begin to embroider. Bernina's exclusive customized pattern selection, or CPS, allows you to replace motifs from your embroidery module. You can choose from a variety of designs. With CPS, you can change your embroidery design options again and again. Your new Artista will give you hours and hours of creative, inspiring sewing. And Bernina offers you more options with the Artista Customizer Designer, a revolutionary and powerful embroidery software. With this software and your home computer, you can create even more distinctive embroidery. There are two types of Bernina Artista software. The Bernina Artista Customizer has a variety of designs to use with your Artista machine. With the Artista Customizer, you can resize, rotate, and mirror image stock designs. You can combine designs, add lettering, and create monograms. And you can reshape and resize lettering. In addition, when you select Artistic View, the design is shown as the final embroidery in stitches. And when you're finished designing, before you sew, you can print out a print worksheet. You can download the design directly to your Bernina Artista machine or send to a personal design card. The Artista designer will do all this, plus you can create your own designs. You can scan in images and automatically digitize a picture with the magic wand. You can select different stitches to outline and fill in a shape and vary the angle of stitching. And you can change object properties, customize and reshape objects. You can even match specific colors from a variety of designs. Bernina offers a wide range of sewing accessories and sewing publications with practical and creative ideas. And now you can access Bernina on the Internet. You can find information from your dealer and access ideas and exclusive Bernina embroidery designs. Bernina. Over 100 years of Swiss precision, quality and technology. Bernina Artista. Welcome to the future and the wonderful world of embroidery, the Bernina way. Thank you.